So a woman in Texas was robbed at knife point while at an ATM. Fox News reports, terrifying video shows a Texas woman being robbed at knife point in broad daylight while she was withdrawing money from a Houston ATM, police said. Video further shows the man pointed the knife at the woman, then reached into the vehicle before pulling away as she appears towards him. Authorities said the woman was using an ATM at the 2800 block of Gessner Road around 5.10 p.m. when the stranger appeared while pointing a knife at her. So, long story short, once they ban guns, they'll be trying to ban the next effective means of protection. Criminals don't stop at being criminals because you pass a law on a piece of paper. Too many people live in a fantasy world where they truly believe they can ban their way to utopia. This dude robbed a woman at knife point in one of the most pro-gun states in the country. That should tell you something. Pro-gun, anti-gun, kind of gun, sometimes gun, doesn't matter. Regardless of what your tactical ideological persuasion is, criminals are gonna do criminal shit. Besides, do you really think that when this dude pulled his knife on this woman that she thought to herself, oh, thank heavens, I'm glad he used a knife to rob me instead of a gun. Thank you, Joe Biden, for all of your gun control laws that made this man rob me with a knife instead of a gun. No, because the result is the same. She got robbed. It's not even like she got robbed in the middle of the night. She got robbed at 5.10 in the afternoon. That's arguably the most busiest time of the day because of rush hour traffic. That should tell you something even more. These criminals don't care about your raggedy little laws. You really think someone who's as brazen enough to commit an armed robbery in broad daylight at a bank that was likely still open cares about an assault weapon ban? You think a criminal like that cares about a background check? These criminals aren't scared to go to jail because they know they won't be there that long anyway. Here's the crazy thing. Had this woman had a gun and got self-defense training with that gun, the likelihood she would have been robbed would have probably been far less. Not because after getting tactical training, she would have turned into John Wick overnight. No, the first thing they teach you when you take a self-defense firearm course is situational awareness, especially when you're at an ATM, regardless of what day or time it is. But I'm not saying it's her fault. I'm just saying if we just spent more time educating people on how to be better protectors of themselves under the Second Amendment, a lot of these things could probably be avoided or better thwarted. But that's just it. Our current government doesn't want to teach you to defend yourself. They want you to depend on them for your safety. Want to know why? Because it gives them more control over you. The police are not your first line of defense. And that is why I always say and will continue to say, go buy a gun learn gun safety, and get self-defense training because you are your first line of defense. And also, speaking of first line of defense, I know some people are seeing this shirt. And I've had some people look at the shirt and say, oh, that's just some machismo stuff, arm the militia. No, actually, it's not. It's reality. You see, a lot of people who are anti-gun or want to restrict the Second Amendment into oblivion like to say things like, well, the Second Amendment wasn't about you having a gun. It was about the militia, as if the militia was some foreign entity that just stands at the ready to come and protect us. No, fool. The militia was consistent of the people. The militia was there to protect against tyrannical governments. Want to know where the militia came from? The people. And besides, you don't need the Second Amendment to tell you that. You don't need constitutional history to tell you that. You just need reality to tell you that. Because at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, if you're at home and someone breaks into your home, if you're out and about and somebody tries to rob or kill you, no matter what the case, whenever you are attacked, tell me, who is the first person there to possibly be able to protect yourself against that potential attack? If you said you, you get the point of this shirt. Because you are the militia. Stop letting people tell you that the militia is some foreign entity that stands on its own, that it has to be called upon and doesn't consist of you. Nah, the militia is you, us, we are the militia. And that's what this shirt represents. So head over to shop.mrcoleonnoir.com and get your I am the militia shirt. You know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments before, during, and even days after having to use your gun in self-defense? When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be a very scary and nerve wracking experience, especially if you haven't gotten the education and training you need to feel confident. I've been there myself, hoping I never have to go through a self-defense shooting, which is why I'm a member of the USCCA. 
As a USCCA member, you can eliminate some of the stress of carrying a gun for protection by accessing the amazing wealth of firearm education, training, and current state-specific gun laws of your state or states you may travel to. This can help you be prepared for or hopefully even avoid a self-defense incident. As a bonus, members automatically become insured on the self-defense liability insurance policy purchased by an issue to the USCCA. Click below to learn more. I'm sure the YouTube algorithm is going to do a phenomenal job of suppressing this message. So please share this video with as many people as you can so we can beat the algorithm and get our two-way message out to the masses. Also, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment and hit the bell and subscribe button.